Hi guys, so a little while ago I did a foundation declutter and I've been meaning to do some more declutters as well. So today's video is going to be decluttering my blushes. This is probably going to be a two part video. I have two drawers of blushes and it could take a little while because I do want to swatch them for you as I go through them. So the two drawers that I have, the top one here, this is for all my lipsticks and then I have this drawer of blushes and then the third one down that is full of blushes as well now I'm probably going to keep quite a few but there are a few that I'm either going to give away or throw out I don't know whether I'm actually going to throw out any the ones that I give away I will hand on to my sister-in-law and see what she thinks of them the other thing with my two blush drawers is that I don't really have great organization in them either. I've just ordered some things from Amazon. They're different shape type of plastic containers and they'll probably get here in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, these boxes here that I put some of my blushes in, they were from, they came in the Netta Porter, the Advent Calendar, not the 2022 one, but the 2021 calendar. And they're quite robust cardboard. So that's what I've been using in the meantime. So we'll start off with the closest one here. This is the Tom Ford one. And I love this blush. A lot of people thought it was a little bit to share but I think it's really beautiful it's the Eclat new one and it is really really lovely and even though it is a little bit sheer I do find that it is buildable and I just think it gives a really beautiful wash of color and I think this is really lovely so I'm going to be keeping this one and next is the Laura Mercier this is the 2021 holiday and this is called the cheek palette the first ball cheek palette and this is actually really lovely I just haven't reached for it very much so you've got your blushes down here this shade is absolutely gorgeous and you've got the two highlighting shades here you've got a warm one and the cooler one this is really lovely and this is what I like doing about declutters as well because I do have a lot because of my channel and once I start to go through them then I find ones that I really start to need reaching for more but this is really really lovely then we've got Viseart these are very pigmented this is the Viseart this is the rose coral one these are really pigmented now I haven't used these for a little while and I'm gonna hold on to it and just give it a test run I've had some problems with their eyeshadows and I haven't picked up any for a while because I found that they're quite they've become a bit dried out now I'm not sure whether it's all the eyeshadow palettes or just the couple that I reach for and I'm hoping that's not the case with these blushes but I'll just swatch a couple. They are super, super pigmented. They sort of feel all right. I'll just, yeah. And they are swatching beautifully as well. You can see how much pigment that they've got. This is really lovely. So I will keep this. I'll hold on to it and reach for it over the next few weeks and decide whether I'm going to keep it but they are really beautiful colors and I've just had to grab a makeup wipe because I'm going to be doing a few swatches these are the NARS blushes I've got two of them this one is in torch these are the ear matte blushes these are actually really really lovely and this color is just gorgeous it's a really really bright it's quite a vivid color but you can put them on quite sheer you just have to go easy when you put it on otherwise this one can be a bit bright but you can apply it more sheer I think these are really lovely I've got a feeling that the shade might have been a limited edition one I'm not too sure it still feels really good and I'll just swatch that on the back of my hand so they still feel really lovely and creamy but this is a really really beautiful shade and then next I have the shade this is in Darling this is probably more of 
my type of everyday shade and this is a really lovely shade too so I'm just going to swatch this one so you can see what that one is like it is really really beautiful so this one is darling and that one is torch this is a really beautiful pink it's very soft and it just looks gorgeous on the cheeks and next we have the Chantecai blush this is it's called the radiant blush and this came out last year now if you love a sheer wash of powder color on your cheeks this is really really lovely first when I tried it I couldn't really see too much I'll be good to shake this and then dust it on with the brush the brush is actually quite soft it's really beautiful and as I do that you probably see some powder come out so you just need to shake it and then the powder comes up to the top and dust it on your cheeks it is quite sheer and it is slightly buildable you don't get a huge amount of pigment but for those of you that love just a beautiful wash of color then this is really lovely then we have the Natasha Denona this is the my dream cheek trio it's the blush and highlighter palette this is absolutely gorgeous I think this is beautiful and the two that I use mainly out of this palette is this one it's the cream blush and then the cream base these are just beautiful the highlighter is lovely as well but it has got quite a lot of that wet look to it so I don't tend to use that a lot but the cream base that goes over the top is just really beautiful and it still has a lot of highlight in it but when you put it over top of the cream blush it's just absolutely stunning so these are the two that I use the most out of this palette and I'm definitely keeping this this is really really beautiful and I hope that she brings out a few more of these blush trios I think they are gorgeous now next I've got are they all Wayne Goss palettes I don't really reach for these a lot and there's nothing wrong with them I think the formula of them are really really lovely so I'll just quickly go through the ones that I have this one is called Desert Blossom now this one is beautiful and I actually need to reach for this a little bit more I think there's one in here that I'll probably give away not this one I think the shade is just stunning and the highlights that go with these are just really really beautiful as well so then you've got the blush and the highlight we can put the highlight underneath the blush to get a bit of a softer type of highlight but just really really beautiful the blush itself is actually very sheer but I just think it's the most gorgeous shade and just gives a really beautiful wash of color so that one was a desert blossom and I'm going to keep that one and then we've got sweet wildflower so these are the ones that came out last year I think so this is quite similar to the other shade and again it's just really really soft and it's a bit more of a peachy shade this one its highlighters are really beautiful though really lovely so I'm definitely going to be keeping that one these are older these blushes I think this one is coral rose and again this is really lovely it looks when I sort of hold it a bit there it's hit a little bit of hard pan but it doesn't feel like it when I rub my finger in it this is a really lovely shade too now I need to declutter blushes and I'm not doing a very good job so far but this is really lovely so I will hang on to that shade but next I'm gonna pull out now this is blush peony and this one I actually love the highlight in this this is really beautiful but this shade well this shade is lovely too possibly a little bit bright and the highlight you can I don't know whether you can see on there but it actually has a little bit of a shift in it it's got this pink shift it's actually really really pretty so I might hang on to this I'm gonna give this a go over the next few weeks just at home with my everyday makeup and just see whether 
I would use this more often and if I decide that I'm not going to then I'll pass this on to my sister-in-law but I will give this a go like I said over the next few weeks and just make up my mind whether it is a shade that I would reach for a lot. And next I will pull out the hourglass blushes and these are actually a really lovely formula. The first one is Revel and I'm pretty sure this is quite a bright red or orangey shade and it is. These are a lovely formula. A lot of hourglass products are really beautiful and it feels really beautiful still and look at that it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is one I think with this color because it's so bright I tend to put it on using something like a beauty sponge or a beauty blender and so I just get a softer look, but it really is a beautiful color. So I'm going to hang on to that. These aren't that old, so I think I will hang on to that one. And the next color I've got, that one is a door. I think this is more of a berry shade. Again, really, really beautiful. So you can see that they're quite pigmented. And they still feel super smooth. They feel as good as the day I got them, actually. Uh, really lovely. So I'm going to hang on to this one as well. This is a shade that I tend not to wear so much as a blush. So this is one that I probably need to try on over the next few weeks and decide whether I'm going to keep it or pass it on. But it's nothing to do with the blush itself. It's really just if it's a shade that I would reach for for my everyday makeup. And then finally we have Devoted. And this is a really lovely shade. This is my favourite out of the lot. And that's only because... This is my type of everyday shade for me. So I'll swatch some on over here. And as you can see, it's just this really, really gorgeous soft pink. It is a really, really pretty color. So I'm definitely going to be keeping the shade. The other two shades, I'll try them out over the next couple of weeks and just see if they're, like I said, if they're ones that I will reach for because if they're just keeping them for the sake of keeping them that's a bit wasteful when I could just pass them on and someone else could get some use out of them and the next are two Victoria Beacon blushes and I'm definitely keeping these I only purchased these probably about a month ago and there's two shades one is major and the other one is fame so we'll take a look at fame first I think that these are really lovely and I do love a cream blush I love a really good powder blush too but I think cream is really beautiful and I think that creams are also just super flattering on mature skin as well so we'll take a look at the other shade and this one is major and this is you can see a theme with the blushes that I really like although I think that this Movi one is beautiful as well but this pink is gorgeous and the formula of these is beautiful too I also think that they last really well really beautiful blushes let's take a look in this box here I've got some Chantecaille blushes and these are the cheek gelés and this color is vibrant and then this is this one here this is the first one I got and this one is happy now these do give a wash of color but they are just really really beautiful so this is happy and I tend to tap this out just using my fingers and if you want just a very natural very soft everyday type of makeup look I think this shade is just absolutely beautiful and I love the formula of these so I'm definitely going to be keeping that one and next I'm going to try out Vibrant so I'll just pop this shade on the back of my hand as well just a small amount this is a gorgeous shade and again just if you tap them out they just blend out really really beautifully you can see that they do as I'm tapping them out 
they're just really really beautiful so I'm definitely keeping those two shades because I love the formula and I think they're just gorgeous blushes and next is another Chantecai blush and this is from the Flower Power collection that they put out. I think this is really lovely. A lot of people didn't really like the packaging of this. I thought it was really, really, really lovely. So I'm just going to swatch that so you can take a look at that shade. This is pretty sheer. Gosh, it feels silky, silky smooth. And it's got... It's got a bit of luminosity in there as well. It's really, really beautiful. I'll actually go in there and just swatch it again. It still feels really beautiful. And again, it's just subtle, but a lovely shade. So I'm going to be keeping that one. And then I'll just grab the other Chantecai shades that I have in here. One is called Emotion. And the other one is called Smitten. The Smitten is the elephant one. And these are really lovely blushes too. Now they do come with an overspray. And I think the one over here was gold. But as soon as you wipe it the first time, that goes. So I'll just do a swatch of this one here. The pan sort of itself moves around a little bit in there. But this is a really lovely peach shade and it still feels really beautiful. So I'm going to be keeping that one. And then we'll go to Emotion. And this is the one that had the B on it. And this still feels really beautiful as well. So we'll do a swatch there. So again, they're more of a sheer type of blush. But I do think... They are really, really lovely. And then I've got some Fenty blushes and I really don't reach for these a lot. I'll quickly just show you the shades of them. I think I'm going to pass all of these on to my sister-in-law. So first of all, I've got Daiquiri Dip. This is super bright. It actually is a really beautiful shade. Next, I have got the shade. This is Rose Latte. This is a beautiful shade. This is really lovely. I think they, the formula of them is still okay considering that they are a cream. But this is actually very beautiful on the cheeks. I just don't reach for them very much. So these are still okay. So these ones I'm going to pass on to my sister-in-law. Next I've got, it is Strawberry Dip. Again, a very bright shade I think it's really lovely though they are feeling really good still and then finally we've got petal poppin I think this is the first shade that I got when I started getting these and this is really really lovely shade too so that's quite a brighter pink than that one there but all of them are still, they still blend out really, really beautifully. So all four of those I will be giving to my sister-in-law. Next is Rare Beauty. And this is in the shade Nearly Rose. This is probably going to be an unpopular opinion. But I never really liked this very much. Didn't think they had very great lasting power. Now this still feels okay. And it is blending out. Okay, my hand. So I'm going to pass this one on. And next in here are two Bobbi Brown blushes. And these are also for the lips as well. Now, I don't think these were released in the USA. They might have been in the end. But initially, they were just UK, Europe. And we did get them here in New Zealand as well. These are really lovely. Now, this one is called Chul. They're called the Crushed Creamy Colour for Cheeks and Lips. I don't really like them that much for my lips, but for the cheeks, they are beautiful. Now, you just need the tiniest, <laughs> tiniest amount of these, even when you put them on your cheeks. But they blend out really, really beautifully. So I tend to, well, I blend this out either with a brush, sponge, or using my fingers. Either way, they are really, really lovely. So that's the one tool, and that is a really lovely shade. So I'm keeping that one. And the next shade is called Creamy Coral. And 
this is quite a bright shade but they blend out really, really beautifully. I was quite impressed with these. I think that they are gorgeous. So this is quite, quite a bright colour and a tiny bit goes a long, long way. But you can see that they blend out, even with just using my finger, really, really beautifully. So keeping both of those shades, I think they're really lovely. And here is an older one, but it is beautiful. Now this is a Kevin Kwan blush. And this is the only one that I have. And this is in the shade Sunset. It's a bright golden coral. These are actually really beautiful. And it reminds me a little bit of the Suku where it has that gradient of the colour. So you've got the deeper colour here. Then or you can go in the middle. And you've got more of a highlight at this end here. It's really, really lovely. So you can go middle. And then at the very end, that one there. It's still... I suppose this is a couple of years old. It's not too old. And I haven't reached for this in quite a while. So I think I'm going to hang on to that. This is really, really lovely. And then we'll just take a look at the other box over here. So in here I've got some Laura Mercier blushes. I love, love her blushes. They are really beautiful. So the oldest one that I've got is Rose. And I used this the other day and it is really beautiful. These are super silky smooth. I think these are such, such a beautiful blush. And then the next shade I've got is Ginger. This is really beautiful. And if you're doing quite a neutral, very soft makeup look, this is a really gorgeous shade. And I actually picked up a new shade the other day of a Laura Mercier, but it's in a different drawer that I've got because I haven't tried it yet. And that's in the shade Guava. That is really beautiful. The other shade that I've got, and this one is Pomegranate. And look at that, just absolutely gorgeous. And again, that silky smooth formula is just really really beautiful and then the last one that I've got of the Laura Mercier and this was a limited edition and this is called All That Sparkles this is just beautiful it doesn't look like much in the pan but on the cheeks you can put it over top of a blush but by itself it's just gorgeous so that is what it's like just by itself but isn't it beautiful it's just so so gorgeous so i'm definitely hanging on to that i think it's a really beautiful blush so all of the laura mercier blushes i am keeping i really enjoy her formula and none of them are too old i think the one rose that i first showed you maybe about two years old but it still feels absolutely fine and next is a blush that i don't really reach for very much it's a patrick tar one it's the only one that i own and it's called she's adorable i don't think there's much wrong with it it's just not something that i really reach for let's try and open it and it is really beautiful it has quite a lot of luminosity in it this is a really lovely shade so i think i'll hang on to this just for a little bit longer it has quite she has quite a bit of gold in it i'm gonna try this out i'm thinking does it show texture I just need to give it another go and if I don't like it I will pass it on to my sister-in-law but one that I'll test out over the next few weeks to decide whether I'm going to keep it or not. Next I've got some Charlotte Tilbury ones and these are actually really lovely. One is Pillow Talk and that's Cheek to Chic and this is the one in Intense and this is really lovely and when I use them I just swirl my brush around just to get both of the colours but it is really really lovely and it's not that old this one so I will be holding on to this I think these are really lovely this one is the Cheek to Chic and this is the one in Ecstasy and I haven't actually reached for these in quite a while this one is more sheer but this is this is a really really beautiful shade really gorgeous very very soft so i'll be holding on to both of these next i've got tower 28 blushes now tower 28 isn't for sale in new zealand 
and my friend Liana Dalton, she has a YouTube channel. She actually, I bought them and got them sent to her address, I think, and then she passed them on to me because I wanted to try them. They're okay. I sort of wouldn't rave about them too much. I understand that they've got a new mascara out that people think is absolutely fabulous, but the product itself, when I run my hand in it, doesn't actually feel that great. We'll just see. It's going okay on my hand. I don't really reach for them, and it's not a brand that I can get here in New Zealand and not easy to get. Now, this is the shade After Hours, and the other shade that I've got, I'm going to pass both these on to my sister-in-law, and the other shade is Happy Hour. So let's take a look at that one. Initially, when I go rub them, they feel a bit sort of, they feel a little bit tacky. But when I go to rub them on my hand, they don't feel too bad and they are blending out okay and they don't smell weird or anything like that. So I'll pass both of these on to my sister-in-law. I just don't really reach for them and like I said, they're not readily available in New Zealand anyway. And we'll take a look at these two. These are the eye to cheek one. So these can be used on eyes and cheeks. This is the Valentino. And I haven't reached for these for quite a while. The packaging on these I don't particularly like. They're quite light and I think they have a little brush in here. The live that I did the last time I did a live with Liz from Chicago Law Luxury Makeup, someone wanted to see them on and I actually put them on. They were actually very, very beautiful and the formula is gorgeous too. So I am going to hang on to these. So this one, this shade is very beautiful on the cheek. It's really, really gorgeous. And I'm just trying to look for a shade, but it just says that it is number three. But this is, it has a sheen to it, but doesn't seem to emphasize any texture. It's just really, really beautiful. And the other one I've got is number four. So we'll take a look at that one. This is really beautiful and they looked really beautiful on. So I am going to hang on to both of these, even though I don't particularly like the packaging, the formula of them is just really beautiful. So I'll be hanging on to these ones. And I've got some Chanel brushes there, which I'm definitely going to be keeping. And up here, I'm going to pass these on. Now, these are the Shiseido blushes and these are called the Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. This is in, I think it's Shioko number two. These are actually really, really beautiful. These actually might be a bit too old to pass on, but they're like a mousse sort of whipped texture. They are really, really interesting to put on. I just don't reach for them very much. And then as I move it around, as I'm blending it out, it actually starts to feel powdery. And it's still blending out really, really beautifully. I think these are maybe two years old. They might be a little bit older than that. But they don't seem to have an awful smell to them or anything like that. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to pass this one on to my sister-in-law. Let's take a look at the other shade. The other shade that I've got is Momoko and it's also it's almost like a burnt sort of orange type of shade. It's really really lovely. Yeah so it's sort of like a burnt orange but they are blending out beautifully and I've forgotten how nice they actually feel. They actually feel really really beautiful. And like I was saying, as I go to blend them out, they sort of feel quite powdery as well. Now, they do come with that little cap. And on the other one, that was inside the lid when I took it off. And they do have to stay on so they don't dry out. And they don't feel dried out at all. So I'm going to pass this one on to my sister-in-law as well. They still feel really lovely. And next is a Natasha Denona one. And it's the Rose Cheek Duo. And this is really, this is a really beautiful shade. I think this is gorgeous. I'm going to be hanging on to this one. I think Natasha's Nona blushes are just gorgeous. 
and while I love her eyeshadow palettes I think her blushes are just absolutely fabulous and then you've got the highlighter as well so these aren't very old and I'm definitely going to be hanging on to them this is a really really beautiful shade and the two Gucci blushes that I picked up not long after they were released one of the shades I just absolutely love it's probably my favorite out of the two that I picked up I really love this formula I think it is really gorgeous so that is rosy beige and the other shade that I picked up is warm berry a really really beautiful shade probably more of a winter shade although I'd wear it during the summer as well just go very very lightly but definitely keeping both of these I think they're really lovely and then next are the Chanel Le Beiges. these are the water fresh blushes now people either love these or they hate them I absolutely love them I think they are just beautiful and initially I picked up three and then I picked up a fourth one as well I think it's in light peach so this one is intense coral these are really beautiful and they are more pigmented than what you would think that they are the thing with these blushes is that you need to just put a tiny amount on the back of your hand and then break up the pigment but they feel very cooling on the skin they blend out beautifully I find I can blend them out using my fingers or a beauty blender or a brush either way or any of the ways that you apply it I just think it's really lovely so I'm going to put a tiny amount of this on the back of my hand just the smallest amount and as it breaks up you can see the color start to intensify and with this formula it really does give just a gorgeous gorgeous wash of color I think these are absolutely beautiful and I definitely would repurchase them so I've also got in light pink which you can see is my favorite it's the one that I've used the most the other shade that I've got this one is warm pink this is really beautiful as well it's got some brown in it really lovely and this is the one that I picked up after the initial three and this is in the shade this one is light peach so what I'll do is I'll just pump a little bit of the light peach on the back of my hand as well this one is less pigmented but it's still a beautiful color and again just break up the pigments on the back of my hand and they break up quite easily and then you can start to see that color appear and it's just beautiful these also dry down really beautifully there's no stickiness and I find that you can wear these beautifully over powder as well because 99% of the time I wear a powder over my foundation with my oily skin I just think they're absolutely beautiful and they don't disturb the powder or foundation underneath really really lovely so I'm definitely keeping all of those and for this drawer I have a couple more left one is NARS and this is the shade Orgasm and it's all pretty much separated now I could probably shake it and it'll be okay but I think I'm going to throw this one out this is very very old I'd even forgotten that I'd had it actually um and it's not one that I really reached for and even when I bought it I wasn't that impressed with it I'm just going to take off the lid I'm just going to give it a sh really good shake I'm going to put a pump on the back of my hand and if it feels okay I will pass this on to my sister-in-law so it is shearing out okay and it doesn't smell funny or anything like that so I think what I'll do is I'll pass this on to my sister-in-law because I'm just not really reaching for it and I think she would really love this shade and then finally I have a Scott Barnes palette and this is the chic cheek and the colors in this are just beautiful I just find the highlighters in here just a little bit too much for my mature skin the packaging is really lovely though so the colors are just beautiful I mean look at this it still feels really good the striker rose and the crush and blush 
look at the mango fizz color here. I mean, this is just stunning. And Minimalist is really beautiful too. And also Sweet Cheeks. They are very pigmented. I just found what I used when I used my brush. I just dip it in very slightly and it sort of mixed between the shades. And you do get a very beautiful look. It's just that I just don't really reach for this very much. And I'll just take a look at the two highlighters. And these are called Glowy and Showy. And they are... I just found that these, these are a very wet look. If you like that, then you would really like these. These are a really nice formula. It's just that I did find they emphasized my texture a bit. But look at this shade here. And you dot it between the other ones, really beautiful. But I just don't reach for this palette enough, so I'm gonna pass this on. To So I've definitely got a little bit more room in my drawer now. I've just got to wait for those plastic, the drawer organizers that I've ordered from Amazon. And I'll probably have some more space once I've decluttered this drawer as well. Now I also have some other blushes and there are a whole lot of Suku ones. And I have been keeping them with the Suku eyeshadows, but I plan to put the Suku blushes in one of these drawers as well. But for now, I think that this video is long enough. I don't really want them to go on too long, but I will video part two, and that will be up one or two days after I've done this one. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.